In this video I'm going to show you how you transfer uh, your Bitcoin from your Binance account over into your BlockFi account. Now before you log into either of those websites you're going to need to install the Google Authenticator app on your phone because both of the websites um, will want to send up two-factor uh, authentication to ensure that nobody is like stealing your Bitcoin from you. So you do that first, then you go into your Binance account and um, click on that icon there, the user icon, then click on security. And then under two-factor authentication, um, you'll want to set up your Google authentication. So when you set that up, it'll give you a QR code and inside the Google app on your phone, you can add um, a new thing like Binance and um, it'll bring up the camera and you just snap the QR code and then that'll be enabled within your Google Authenticator. Right, so once you've got that, you then need to um, create a wallet. So what we do is we go wallet, overview, and click on withdraw and you'll want to be withdrawing BTC um, and you probably haven't got an address here so we're going to create one that we can use next time as well so what that means is that um, if you put another hundred dollars into your Binance account to buy some Bitcoin when you want to transfer it over to BlockFi you'll just be able to quickly do it using <clears throat> your BlockFi address. So I've already got mine in here, but I'll just show you how, to, how you set it up. You go add withdrawal address, and you call it anything you want, like block. <clears throat> Actually, I will do this. I'll go BlockFi business account. And the coin, of course, will be Bitcoin. And the address, we go over into our BlockFi account and you go fund and we choose the currency, which will be Bitcoin. And we copy our Bitcoin address there, which copies it to the clipboard. And then we go back over into Binance and we paste it in there. And it automatically knows that it's Bitcoin and it says address origin. And since we're on Binance, that's what the origin will be. Oh, doesn't search. I hate that. There it is. <clears throat> and we go OK. And we add it to the whitelist. So next time we do withdrawals, it'll just go through quickly. Oh, why can't I click save? Oh. It's too long. It's not happy with that. Ah. Yeah, it was too long. And then we click save. Right. So the first thing it's going to do is it's going to email us a code. Said it was sent, but I don't have it. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> and copy that and paste it in there. And then our Google verification code, which is on our phone. And this is Binance 601301. Oh, wrong place. Uh, no, I've got to get it's going to send me a phone one as well. So now it's going to send a text to my phone. There it is. Where is it? Oh yeah. 
And now we do the Google Authenticator. 914167. Oh no, 167. And enter. And now it's added our new address. So now all we have to do is we go wallet overview withdraw. I don't actually think I've got any Bitcoin left in my Binance, but we'll see what happens. And then we go address book and then we click on the one we want to use. So I want to use my business uh, account with BlockFi. And then you just go max and I don't think I've got any <laughs> here, but and then you just go withdraw. And that's how you transfer it over to your BlockFi. Now, when you do transfer it over to your BlockFi, it'll probably take about an hour because Bitcoin takes quite a while to get approved, but it will get over there. And that's the safe way to transfer your Bitcoin from Binance over to BlockFi.